What are you doing up there? I'm uh, just tidying up a bit. Because Aggie did such a sh job. Shout out to my haters. Rail Rosa. Like, 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 so we've got the toddlers over here. Cute. Look how cute. I mean, look at these little tracksuit pants. Three girls and boys and the two. So these are, there's two adverts we're shooting on the same day. And then we've got kids that we want and backup kids. So, back, so the, real, the actual kids have got stickers on. Why do we have backup kids? Because when you shoot with kids on the day, they could just be having a bad day and not perform. So you've got to have a kid ready to go. You beat us to it. For once. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> yeah, well you guys are late, so technically... We're not! You, you, the, people have been walking by, they're like, where's Natalia and Ari? <laughs> no way. Like, it's fine, I don't need them, I'll run the meeting on my own. <laughs> what is happening? Hey guys, we're going to um, an evening with Nick Harry, who you guys may know as the guy who makes amazing socks. And we are gonna, I'm chatting to him. It's called an honest evening and he's gonna ask me a bunch of questions and it's gonna like open up, you know? How honest are you gonna be? I'm gonna be very honest, Harry. I hope so. What's up? How are you? So good. Thank oh, you so much for the first week with you than any of the other events so far. Really? Yeah. Don't worry, so you know what? I tell all of them that what they're watching is just a conversation between two okay. friends. That's fine, that's perfect. So, that's perfect. Yeah, like that's what we're going that's for here. Yeah. So at the time, there's this whole DIY phenomenon happening online and we thought, wouldn't it be awesome if someone was looking for some, how to do something online and they found this weird Afrikaans woman who's telling you how to do something. So I thought, let's just do that. I don't know. DIY. Let's try it. We're parodying those weird YouTube tutorial people who are amazing. Let's see what happens with this. And we just made a couple of episodes. We're shooting in my flat. We kept our names of the project purposefully so that people would think, okay, maybe Suzelle's real. Is she real? <laughs> and actually it worked because people were like, sh people were sharing the videos and saying, is this for real, you know? Okay, question. So I just wanted to say oh, thank cool. you, because it's you. so refreshing. Thank you. And so funny and so original. And awesome. When Tali showed up, I went, <laughs> oh my God, what's happening now? And then you had started including Aggie. Yes, yeah. don't you want to give Aggie a shout out? Yes, thank you so much, Aggie. I am one of your white fans. I live in New York. You're famous in New York. That is amazing. <laughs> she's going she's gonna to love that. That's great. That's so great. <laughs> Hi, Aggie. Hi, So let's just tell Aggie about um, the fact that Zoe, our daughter, is teething. And she has some great advice for me. Tell, me. tell them what you were just telling me. Must use the bump sweetie. Bump sweetie, perfect. What is the bump sweetie? Imperfect. Put once before she sleeps, and she'll sleep soundly. You see the comments coming. All right. I'm going to give her a bump sweetie tonight. Yeah. You're going to have baby eyes. Yeah. Do you have baggy eyes now? Yeah. Do I? You have black eyes. Like, easy to see if a white person is tired. That line sells you out. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, I can't see it on you. Are you tired? I have no idea. I'm exhausted. Oh, yeah. You don't I'm, look tired. I, you can see that you're tired. Yeah, I'm tired. Then after that, you're going to have baggy eyes. <laughs> but not after the bum, sweetie. <laughs> I know, I cannot talk to you. You are someone else's lover. I must not let my eyes light up. You are someone else's boyfriend. But I love you just the same. Draw that went out at the end. I've got that now. 
It's Wednesday, it's 4.30 and we are headed to Ogilvy to do a um, pitch for a TV ad. Basically they call in three directors and each director has to pitch on the brief that the agency gives you and show them how you would interpret that brief and how you would make the ad, like all the decisions involved in how you would make the ad. So a lot of work goes into it, so we've been working on it for like a week. Is this a fire? Jesus. Another fire. What is happening? What is happening? So, we're shooting a clothing commercial. It's our shop list. Because it's such a complicated shoot, because it's such a complicated shoot, because the cube is changing color and the kids' jackets are like flipping back and forth, we've got this really detailed list where like, we know what color and what the jacket and the background, which kid, so like, every single person knows what's going on. Yeah. And like literally a whole other crew could come in and shoot this thing without us. That's how no, that's tight, but that's how tight you want this thing to be. So they wouldn't have, they wouldn't have Galasco in the hot seat. Hi. I don't mind us. What's interesting to me about this shoot is that some of the kids' heights, it's like a meter. Can you imagine being a meter tall? <laughs> So that's a first AD, he's controlling the time schedule on the shoot. He will tell the kids what to do by Italia, who's the director. And then that's Kaylee. She's the choreographer. And thank God we have her. This is the crash. How's it going this side, Ash? It's going really good. You're like in the crash. Oh, sure. And this is the best holding area we've ever had for kids, so I haven't heard a p squeak. It's true, it's like a playground. I haven't heard a squeak. Oh, good. Ari, did you buy Julia flowers no. for Valentine's? <laughs> I forgot. I forgot it was Valentine's. Right now, what's happening behind me is the agency has come in with their notes to tell Tali what they think. Bjorn, hold that bubba, don't wrap her. Could be improved upon or maybe something she missed. Making sure that the director's staying on track. Hey Kaylee, tell us what you're doing here today. I am choreographing and having lots of fun. <laughs> and um, I'm on the spot right now. <laughs> Well, just thank God you're here, Kaylee. That's yeah, all I can tell. She doesn't know what she's doing. She doesn't know what she's doing. But thankfully, you I think do. she's. I think she's amazing. No, she is. But that's my personal opinion. <laughs> I think so. Like you couldn't say anything bad about her while you're on camera. No. And then if you can keep both hands, so don't, so don't lift it, yeah. Hold hands up, turn around. Okay, and cut. Cool. Thank you. And that's, that's it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. cool. Thank you. Yeah. We did this talk the other night with Nick Harry, and it was sponsored by a vodka company, and they made me this vodka drink which I smashed during the talk because I was thirsty and just because it was there. I was so drunk because I haven't been drinking for, I mean like basically a year and a half, but I drank this sweet vodka drink. Sasha. By the end of the talk, I was like, oh, Julia, you keep it together. What up fam? Friday afternoon, here we are. We're just about to watch the um, Web Africa. Rushes? No, Russians. Uh, 
approved uh, offline approved cats. offline cats. Well, agency approved. Ever since Josh became a director here, boys, he speaks in a different language, and I just feel like we're not really connecting anymore. I don't really understand what he's what saying. Say? What are you saying? Over there? I was just saying, I think. Um, this is going to be really swell to watch. <laughs> nice. That's good. Is that good, eh? Actually, play it again. Aggie's my number one hater. Don't think I don't see what you say, Aggie. Just because I don't see you face to face anymore doesn't mean you can talk smack about me on the vlog. <laughs> so I'm calling Aggie out. I'm calling out all her hashtag white fans. <laughs> She's got an army by now. Well, bring it on. She's like the Khaleesi. She's like Khaleesi. She's, Aggie's like Khaleesi. Aggie is Khaleesi. I used to be the center of attention at this building, but not anymore. Do you feel like things have changed there? Big time. I'm not saying for better or for worse. Good. I'm just saying that I will not be visiting the studio anymore. Because? And I'll be off the vlog. I expressly do not give Sketchbook Studios permission to use this footage or my image anymore on the vlog. Like and comment in the comments section below if you think that that is fair. See you later. Okay. Catch you later. And remember, always subscribe in the comments below. Everything about it.